Hello, my wonderful people. We are some subscribers all over the world. On our way down, oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Happy Sundays to you all, oh, all the lovers of freedom and lovers of mankind. Me, I don't land again, oh. Remember, my name never changed. I still remember that you are one and the only. I'm Indian Eze, speaking from the platform of Obute Daily Talk. Where we speak to you the undiluted truth about the things of life, about what is happening, about what is about to happen. So, in case you never subscribe to my channel and you are watching my content, endeavor to do that anytime soon. Make sure you do what you keep sharing, you keep uh, liking, commenting, and also subscribing. All the very, very important. We're gonna hear this uh, breaking news. Oh, this news. Now, one of our brother, where he named be Annie Kings, he don't write an uh, open letter to Yoruba elders, elders in council, only of of ile ile ife politicians over and bars in Yoruba land religious leaders clergymen and women traditional and cultural leaders such as afenifere odua people's congress opc and so on this letter waiting content for this letter my dear brothers my dear sister if you hear this in here i believe me you you will marvel you will know that uh, uh, indeed truly truly we the ibos we have mouths i want to i want to do we have kings and kings, and we are the king makers and rain makers. This is our brother, Iron Karo Bunga Letter. Conrad give all the Yoruba heads. We're there for Yoruba land, and also in Hausa, and so on and so forth. Concerning the detention of Mazinam the Kano and the incident killings and, uh, and the burning of markets of our brothers and sisters who are residing in the country, um, in the state called Lagos State. So, if you, in case you never hear the letter, Okay, that in your seatbelt now. Be ready to hear the breaking news and the content of it. So, my wonderful brothers and sisters, I beg you, make on a do what? Make on a touching on a seatbelt because we're about to take off from MMIA, Mutara Muhammad International Airport. Dear sir and ma, I wish to extend my kind greetings to all the greetings mentioned above as protocols demand. This is a friendly and a priceless counsel to a Yoruba nation over the continuous illegal detention of uh, Mazen Namdekano, the leader of over 70 million indigenous people of Biafra, IPO, an umbrella body movement fighting for the total liberation of Biafra people from the so called Nigerian country. IPO is a world recognized peaceful freedom fighting movement that has its presence in over 100 countries of the world and duly registered and recognized in over 80 countries of the world. We are peaceful people, non-violent, but very strong and not a weak movement. Our mission and missions and objective to restore Biafra as independent nation is not born out of hatred to any ethnic cities in this uh, contraption called Nigeria, but an earnest vow to restore our dignity as a race and preserve our present and the future generations of our people. Outside this uh, unworkable experiment uh, of British amalgamation of 1914 called One Nigeria. The Biafran people and the majority of Igbo race are fed up with the continuous subjection, subjugation of our people in Nigeria and only looking up to IPOP and uh, her leader Mazi Namdekano as their only source of hope for the freedom of all, for the referendum of the Biafran nation. I hope, okay, I hope hold their leader, Mazen Namdekano, to a very high esteem as there is no other evil man alive presently who has done what he has done in the interest of his uh, own people, the Ndibu and Biafrans in general. It is worthy to know that I pop movement, of which Mazen Namdekano is the overall leader, officially came to an existence in 2012 under the administration of good luck Ebele Jonathan whose tribe is of Biafra origin as verifiable records shows that an a German a school principal by name Chief Francis Upigo was actually the man who reminded His Excellency of the blessed memory let Jim Dimu Tukwemeka Odumego Juku and the real identity of the pro-colonial rule of old eastern region or old eastern nigeria which today goes out with the political name of southeast and south south as biafra period to may 30 1967 official declaration of biafra as a sovereign nation which 
led to Nigeria government invasion and war crime. Horrible genocide against Biafra people for merely declaring safe rule to defend its people from jihadist war by Fulanese, ravaging the nation against the, the, the Igbos and the Biafrans in general. Under the command of Jack Yakub Gowen, backed by British, USSR, America, and other world power for Western interests to protect their oil wealth in Biafra land as a sole reason. Britain tied the genocide against Biafra people, oil war, and deliberately added the genocide against our people. An awful history, this generation of Biafra has vowed never to forget until Biafra is restored. I hope you are following me. Please keep up following, listening, and also sharing. This is to say, IPOP movement and its objective was never and can never be politically or tribalistically driven, but a desire of a group and generation of people with a vow to restore her stolen and bastardized identity, dignity, and culture from the British colonialism of failed one Nigeria. As stated above, I wish to remind you, sir and ma, that uh, as of today, your son, Mr. Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, a.k.a. Uh, B.A.T. Bat is presently the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This is to say, your son is the head of the state and commander-in-chief of the armed forces, which includes Nigeria's secret service called the DSS that unlawfully and extraordinarily renditioned Mazi Namdekano against international protocols brought him to Nigeria and still holding him hostage in their dungeon since 24, mo 24 months now and counting. Despite court of appeal judgment that discharged and acquitted him of all frivolous charges against him by the last uh, administration under the rule of a Fulani man called Buhari. A Fulani man might not be wise enough to release an innocent man, Maze Namdekano, a prisoner of conscience, who every legal and relevant uh, institutions of human rights advocates, legal and international, has called for his release and declared him innocent because of Fulani sheer hatred for Igbo man. But one thing the Fulani man did very smartly is to hand a very sick El Mazinam the Kano over to the next regime of your son, Bola Ahmed Tunumbu. And the Nibu and I power as a movement and their friends in general are watching closely, believing that uh, your son, President Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, we be wise and smarter enough not to play in the hands of Fulani intelligence and urgently order for the release of Maze Namdekano to Indigo and IPOP to travel him abroad for urgent independent medical checkup and treatment. This is a wise council, I believe, who is uh, who is who in Yoruba nation to advise their son to do it as a matter of urgency. If you are waiting for this, any Kings, my dear, you are wasting your time because he whom is in him is he whom is in the past. So there's no change. The life of Mazenam the Kano is so precious to Ndibu and Biafrans in general that uh, any negative report about his health challenges always cause a national tension in Igbo land and Biafra land in general. Because to us, Mazenam the Kano is not just a usual leader but also a prophet to some Biafrans. He is a god. Therefore, the Yorubas need to need need no susaya to be informed the danger of any uh, report that Mazenam the Kano has lost his life in the DSS dungeon. God forbid, under the watch of their son, Mr. Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, such a report, but God forbid, will surely escalate a generational tribal unending war. Therefore, it is a wise counsel to Yoruba nation to advise their son now to order for immediate and unconditional release of Maze Namdekano to stop full and a trap of a generational conflict with Indigo, their friends in general against the Yoruba nation, whom we have special respect for as a good neighbor that shares a lot in common with Biafra people and Indigo as a race. I pour a movement remains strong and shall continue to fight for the liberation of Biafra people until a total freedom is achieved. 
and shall always consider dialogue where necessary to create room for a healthy relationship with uh, our good neighbors, the Yorubas, houses, and other ethnicities, uh, which uh, Biafra is fully restored. But this cannot be achieved if there is any negative report about the life of the leader of over 70 million people. It is not people of Biafra in the SS dungeon or under the watch and command of Mr. Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, the Yoruba son. It is even more dangerous when our when your son Bola Ahmed Tunumbu is in the helm of affairs and refuse to act positively and urgently to order for his release now. This open letter this day, uh, May 9, 2023, shall speak against him and the entire Yoruba nation if Yoruba uh, leaders maintain their silence over this uh, urgent issue. And I pray smart, and I pray smart Yoruba nation shall do the needful and set a remarkable legacy to urgently advise their son, Mr. Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, to urgently order for the freedom of Mazin Namdekano as per appeal court judgment. Long live IPOP. Long live Mazin Namdekano. Long live the federal government of Nigeria. And long live to the Biafrans and Igbos in general. And God bless the nation if they shall happen to the White Council and the Kings. May 09, 2023. We are moving forward, my dear people. It don't happen again, oh, this one, and another big mess, oh, because uh, as the Nigerian doctors no agree stay for their own country, after practicing uh, their, 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 their medicine or whatever, or after their graduation, now it remains only native doctors. We manage our health if the Nigerian face to cop medical workers' brain drain. This one is coming from the office of Ulusegun Mimiko, which is the former uh, Ocean State or Ondo State uh, governor. Ondo State Governor. Ulusegun Memeko, former governor of Ondo State, has warned that the rate at which medical professionals are leaving the country in search of better pro, uh, prospects overseas indicates that Nigeria is now in a state of war and a state of uh, uh, anomaly. <laughs> According to Memeko, who emphasized that the situation is alarming, said if it continues, only native doctors may be available to provide health care service to far to f in five to ten years time in this so country nigeria the former governor who called the situation alarming said that it is ultimately concerning that uh, the medical ultimately uh, concerning that the medical professionals are trained at subsidized rates in nigeria before leaving for industrialized nations mimiko made this during uh, the weekend and the first group of medical doctors induction ceremony at the University Medical Science Umid, located in Ondo Town. The two time governor explained that they established that he established the institution during his administration to address the shortage of medical workers in the country. He called on the government to recognize the gravity of the issue and take appropriate measures to reduce the rate of immigration. Immigration of medical personnel to other countries. Mimiko further suggested that the government sh uh, should uh, incentivize medical professionals to stay in country and discourage other nations from poaching them. He argued that it is crucial for the government to be accountable and take advantage of the opportunity to enhance the skills of medical professionals within the country. We are in an emergency. If we continue at this rate, in another 5 to 10 years, only the Babalawos that the herbalists will be available to take care of us in terms of uh, English medications. It is an emergency and the government must set it as an emergency. The government must uh, disincentivize the rate of, of which uh, or at which uh, our medical doctors and medical personnel are immigrating out of this very country because they never take care of their own. Almost all the things they keep going abroad to go and treat themselves. If you go to the that best hospital so far, they think that, uh, oh, this, pl this place is where their life is secured. The better doctor, even the resident doctor there is an Igbo man. Sorry, maybe, okay, let's say the resident doctor there is a Nigerian man or African man for that matter. 
That is the problem we are having here. Do your own people well. They refuse. They prefer going abroad, even come on to buy ordinary fencing or parastamol. They fly, uh, fly uh, private jet abroad for it because they have never done the one in their localities very well. A former PDP governor acting like a bus conductor, Daniel Boala. A spokesperson for the Atiku presidential campaign organization, uh, Daniel Boala, has claimed that a former governor of the People's Democratic Party PDP now goes to the presidential villa on daily basis. On hours, not even daily basis. In a tweet via his Twitter handle on Thursday night, Boala, who refused to name the former governor, said his frequent visit to the stage is like that of a bus conductor. I know we are talking about Wiki. Wiki, you don't hear me. No be, no be, it's that way they sing, I see the pen, they marry the sweet us. Now, now you eat the thing, the sweet, or I be the, no, I eat the thing, the pen, you know the sweet way again. Because without government, you cannot succeed. The PDP chief said that the former governor will soon inflict Bola Ahmed, the Tunumbu's administration, with his toxic equity, fairness, and justice comments. He wrote, there is a former governor of the PDP that frequents uh, presidential villa daily like a bus conductor. He will soon inflict the administration with his toxic equity, fairness, and justice poison. This development comes hours after governor, uh, former governor of River State, yes, on weekend, and other members of the G5 string have been <laughs> met with the president, Bolame Tunumbu, at the presidential villa in Abuja. List of traditional rulers, eh? government officials that attended meeting with the president of the foreign government of Nigeria, President Bola Ametunumbu. President Bola, uh, President Bola Ametunumbu on Friday met with the top traditional rulers from around the country at the presidential villa Abuja. The meeting is part of his uh, consultation with the key stakeholders within the nation. Niger News reports the traditional rulers who visited under the auspices of the National Council of Traditional Rulers of Nigeria, used the opportunity to congratulate the President on his electoral victory and wish him well in the task of ruling Nigeria. They also assured him of their commitment to collaborate with him in the task of national development. Those in the meeting include the Sultan of Sokoto, the Oni of Ife, the Emir of Kanu, the Oba of o o o sorry, the Ubi of Onosha, TV, Esu, Nupe, Deji of Akure, Shehu of Bruno, Elegushi of Ekate, Jaja of Obobo, Lamido of Adamawa, Emia of Zazao, uh, Bongwam, uh, bon Jos, Ata Egala, Alake of Ibaland, Shehu of Bruno, as well as representative of the Oba of Benin. Some top government officials present at the meeting were the Vice President Kashim Shetima, the Secretary to the State Government of the Federation, George Akume, and the Permanent Secretary of the State House, Tijani Omar. Passenger train, don't cross army sergeant to death in Lagos State. Passenger train again. A sergeant in the Nigerian Army was reportedly crossed to death in a tragic train accident in Lagos on Wednesday, June 9 of 2023. It was gathered that the deceased officer, Sergeant Gideon uh, Samson, was trying to dash across the rail line at the PWD area of Ikeja, Lagos, before uh, when he was hit by the passenger train. Nagatus learned that the train was on its way to Ido in Lagos, in Lagos from Ibadan when it eventually rammed into the soldier who was until his death attached to the 9th Brigade Ikeja in Lagos. The latest train accident in the uh, state is coming barely three months after the passenger uh, train ran into a Lagos state government staff was conveying workers and their families in the same spot. Six persons were killed and about 80 passengers injured in the unfortunate incident which occurred on the morning of nine, March 9 of 2023. Confirming the latest, latest incident and eyewitnesses who spoke to Delhi Trust Explain that the tra uh, train accident happened around 6.30 p.m. on Wednesday. A military source also told the news platform that the 9th Brigade of the Nigerian Army had been informed about the demise of its sergeant. The source, who did not want his name in print because he was not uh, authorized to speak, 
said the military authority moved the body to the military hospital mortuary in Yaba, Lagos State. Deputy Director of Public Relations of the H1 Division of the Nigerian Army in charge of the Lagos and Ogun State, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Olabisi Olalekan Ayeni, did not respond to his calls on the time of filling this very report. CBN immediately allowed cabals against Tunumbu to destroy him on his back suspension. On his speaking from the two sides of your mouth, on a way don't know. The Hanese Ndibu Social Cultural Organization on Sunday, sorry, on Saturday, uh, on organization, on Saturday, the suspension uh, or the suspended uh, Central Bank of Nigeria CBN governor, Godwin Emefele, allowed himself to be destroyed by the cabal that controlled former President Muhammad uh, Buhari's administration. On Hanese said, Emefele played into the hands of the cabals. That never wanted Bola Tunumbu to become the president of the federation. The body was reacting to Tunumbu's decision to suspend Emefele as the CBN governor over the ongoing investigation into the Apex Bank, uh, this thing, uh, whatever, whatever. Okechukwe Siguzoro, Anese's uh, secretary general, said Emefele's continued stay in office would undermine Tunumbu's presidency. Speaking with Daily Post, the Hanese chieftain said Emefele's suspension was a right decision. According to Isiguzoro, Emefele allowed himself to be destroyed by cabals who never wanted Tunumbu to become president. As a central bank governor, he shouldn't have tapped into the murky water, waters of politics and having been pushed to run for the APC presidential primaries against others, especially against Tunumbu. We see Emefele's suspension as good rat dance to bad rubbish. The arrest of MFLA is in the right direction and Hanez applauds it. Say your own say because this is calling on Hanez. Hanez have already issued a statement saying that this one is fight against the Igbos, according to the, 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 the news I saw earlier today. So this one you are saying another different thing again. Okay, Chukwu say Guzoro, respect yourself and be mindful of what you say on the public. MFLA's continuous stay in office will undermine Tunumbu's presidency and it is in the right direction. Look at what you are saying. Emefele was, was being used. And the people who use the Emefele are still walking freely on the street. And you are blaming the person that are being used. That is the problem we are having in Nigeria. Simply because he did not belong to that class. That class of Fulane Kabas. That is why he is being toyed with it. Look at the statements and other things that have been happening during and after, before the election and after this election. Nobody is being held accountable or being arrested. Ganduje, my political boy, can't look at my face. Kwankwaso on slap thread. The, ne the new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP presidential candidate, Rabiu Musa Kwankwaso, has uh, described the immediate past governor of Kanu State, Abdullahi Ganduje, as his political boy. Kwankwaso was writing to Ganduje's latest thread to slap him after meeting with the President Bolame Tunumbu at the presidential villa. Ganduje had threatened to slap Kwankwaso. <laughs> Wankwaso and Ganduje were at the villa on Friday and se separately briefed uh, President Bolame Tunumbu on the recent development in Kano State. Dismissing Ga uh, Ganduje's threat, Kwankwaso said the former governor can't look him in the face to say anything of such. Speaking with the BBC House Service, Kwankwaso said the former governor was confused when he, he issued the threat. According to Kwankwaso, I heard Ganduje saying he would slap me. But it is an empty thread. He was just confused. These are all my boys politically. That uh, they, they, they can't even uh, look at me straight in the face if we meet. He was in a confused state when he said that. If they see me, they will lower their size and their voices. According to Kwan Kwan Su or Kwan Kwan Sia. <laughs> the last but not the least, Megona Hiaramo. From the last regime to this regime, the killings have not stopped. The same APC government who keep on blaming, uh, uh, um, what do they call it, PDP for the past uh, last 16 years. Now, they have went into their 12 years of the regime, which have not achieved anything. The same thing that made them to overthrow PDP is exactly the same thing they are still doing. Corruption, insecurity, and inflation that is hitting higher. Nigerians, I beg which way forward. Anyway, let us not start complaining because we just uh, entered the, the, the bus. 
We don't know where this bus is driving us to. But we hope that the bus will not lost us in the middle of the uh, forest. Bandits gone down 25 farmers and abduct several others in Niger State. If you hear gunning down, you think that uh, they are gunning down animals like goats, uh, dogs, or this thing, or fowls. They are gunning down a human being like me and you that is breathing. They will cut their lives short. Even people who have long dreams of becoming something in life, all their lives have been cut short simply because their only offense and crime is the Nigerians. It is too, it is too painful. Bandits are reportedly killed 25 farmers and, and abducted several women and girls from various communities in Rafi, local government area of Niger State. The attack reportedly took place around 2 p.m. in five villages. The breakdown of the killing showed that 13 people lost their lives in the Kushaki community. Twelve others were killed in a Gidigori village, while several others were yet to be accounted for all <laughs> in Nigeria. Daily posts gathered that a humanitarian crisis in the area had worsened since Wednesday as hundreds of internally displaced persons, IDPs including women and children from various villages, through to Kagara, the headquarters of Rafi local government area, abandoning, abandoning their villages for bandits. Hmm. Voila. Confirming the attack, a community leader in one of the villages, Malam uh, Nasiri Buhari, said, It is true that bandits have resumed attacks with the full force. Buhari and the Tunumbu with the APC. What is really happening? Is it that when the, 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 the number of Nigerians reduced from uh, 220 million to 20 million, is it when they will take action? I really don't understand what is happening in that country. Ah, wow. We have not had it easy in the last two weeks, but the situation had worsened since Wednesday. As I speak to you, bandits have taken over most parts of the local government area. They have been in the Kushaki community since around 2 p.m. on Friday, chasing people out from their ancestral lands. They spent the night in Garenzara community and rustled hundreds of cattle, goats, and rams and killed a specified number of people, he said. Also confirming the attack, the senator representing Niger East Senatorial District and the National Assembly, Senator Mohammed Sani Musa, lamented that the bandits have resumed attacks on Rafi, Baikoro, Monya, and the Shiroro local government areas that form part of his constituency. He said the criminals were out to test the power and capacity of the new administration at both federal and the state levels. He he, however, said he believed President Ahmed Bola Tunumbu and Governor Mohamed Omar Bago led governments would deal with the situations. The Niger State Police Command Public Relations Officer DSP Wasio Abiodun said the security operatives have been deployed to the area to arrest the situation. Sorry for the goals. We have reviewed tactical deployments in the area and more deployments of uh, PMF, Police Mobile Force, have been made. In collaboration with the military to cover Yakila, Tagena, Kagara, Pandugare, Kushaki, and its environs to forestall the occurrence, the PPRO speak. So, my wonderful people, make gonna do what? Make gonna join a deal, make gonna do a because now here we will take back our guy. Today, I'm not going to bombard my listeners with a lot of news just because today, on Sunday, make gonna just go out there and do your Sunday with your family, your friends, or your well wishers. Anyone you choose to be with you, my dear, it is your own uh, desire and your own choice. So I'm not going to force you on what to do or direct you on what you, not, you don't need to do. So at uh, this Sunday, make gonna do what? Make gonna enjoy yourself. Make gonna never forget to share my content too. Make it a like, the comment, and also the like, the, 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 the subscribe. That is the most important thing among this whole thing. So have a nice day. May the Almighty to go Oya bless us all today, being Sunday, the Father and of the Son and also of the Holy Spirit. So make on do what? Make on the notification, the enjoy another day. I'll be right back again with another blockbuster. Bye for now. Kemesiano.